Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Attorney General Barr, has the President or anyone at the White House ever asked or suggested that you open an investigation of anyone? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh... Yes or no? Could you, could you repeat that question? I will repeat it. Yeah. Has the President or anyone at the White House ever asked or suggested that you open an investigation of anyone? Yes or no, please, sir. Um, the President or anybody else? Seems you'd remember something like that and be able to tell us. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to grapple with the word suggest. I mean, there have been discussions of, of matters out there that uh, they have not asked me to open an investigation. But Perhaps they've suggested? I don't know. I wouldn't say suggest. Hinted? I, I don't know. Inferred? You don't know. No. Okay. Um, in your March 24th summary, you wrote that, quote, after reviewing the special counsel's final report. But I will say that no one. Sir, I'm, not, I'm asking a question. Yeah. In your March 24th summary, you wrote that, quote, after reviewing the special counsel's final report, Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein and I have concluded that the evidence is not sufficient to establish that the president committed an obstruction of justice offense. Now, the special counsel's investigation produced a great deal of evidence. Um, I'm led to believe it included witnesses' notes and emails, witnesses' congressional testimony, witnesses' interviews, um, which were summarized in the FBI 302 forms, former FBI Director Comey's memos, and the President's public statements. My question is, in reaching your conclusion, did you personally review all of the underlying evidence? Uh, no, we took an accept did, 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 we accepted did Mr. Rosenstein? No, we accepted the statements in the report as the factual record. We did not go underneath it to see whether or not they were accurate. We accepted it as accurate and made our- So made you our, accepted it, the report as the evidence? Yes. You did not question or look at the underlying evidence that supports the conclusions in the report? No. Did uh, Mr. Rosenstein review the evidence that underlines and supports the conclusions in the report, to your knowledge? Not to my knowledge. We accepted the statements in the report did and anyone the characterization in your, of the evidence is true. Did anyone in your executive office review the evidence supporting the report? No. No. Yet you represented to the American public that the evidence was not, quote, sufficient to support an obstruction of justice the evidence offense. Present, the evidence presented in the report. This is, not a, this is not a mysterious process. In the Department of Justice, we have pros memos and declination memos every day coming up. And we don't go and look at the underlying evidence. We Sir, take, would you we support- take the characterization of the evidence as true. As the Attorney General of the United States, you run the United States Department of Justice. If in any U.S. Attorney's office around the country, the head of that office, when being asked to make a critical decision about, in this case, the person who holds the highest office in the land, mm -hmm. and whether or not that person committed a crime, would you accept them recommending a charging decision to you if they had not reviewed the evidence? Well, that's a question for Bob Mueller. He's the U.S. Attorney. He's the one who presents the report. But it was you who made the charging decision, sir. You made the decision not to charge the president. No, in a pros memo and in a declination memo. You said it was your baby. What did you mean by that? It was my, it was my baby to, to let to decide whether or not to disclose it to the public. And whose decision and we, was and, it? Who's, and, who had the power to make the decision about whether or not the evidence was sufficient to make a determination of whether there had been an obstruction of justice? Prosecution memos go up to the supervisor, in this case it was the, you know, the Attorney General and the Deputy Attorney General, who, who decide on the final decision. And that is based on the memo as presented by the U.S. Attorney's Office. I think you've I've made seen, it clear that of, you've not looked I've at the evidence. We can move on. I I've think it, you've made it clear, sir, that you've not looked at the evidence, and we can day. move on. Will you agree to consult career DOJ ethics officials about whether your recusal from the 14 investigations that have been discussed by my colleagues is necessary? Uh, I, I don't 
see any basis for it. I already consulted with them, and, and it, you have consulted with them about the fourteen other investigations about the, uh, about the uh, Mueller case. Have you consulted with the career DOJ ethics officials about the appropriateness? of you being involved or recusing yourself well, what, from the 14 other investigations that have been basis? referred out. On what basis? Conflict of interest, clear conflict What's of my interest. Conflict? What's my conflict of interest? I think the American public has seen quite well that you are biased in this situation and you've not been objective. And that would arguably be the conflict well, of interest. Well, you know, I haven't been the only decision maker here. Now, let's take the Deputy Attorney General, Rod Rosenstein, who was approved by this Senate, 94 to 6, with specific discussion on the floor that he would be responsible for supervising the Russian investigation. I'm glad you brought up that. Okay. That's and a great topic. He has topic. 30 years' experience, and we had a number of senior prosecutors in the department involved in this process, both career and non-career. Yes, I've, I've, who, I've, who I've read the process, on the sir. I have another question. And I'm glad you brought that subject up, because I have a question about that. Earlier today, in response to Senator Graham, you said, quote, that you consulted with Rosenstein constantly, unquote, with respect to the special counsel's investigation and report. But Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein is also a key witness in the firing of FBI Director Comey. Did you consult well, that's with, D I'm not finished. Yeah. Did you consult with DOJ ethics officials before you enlisted Rod Rosenstein to participate in a charging decision for an investigation, the subject of which he is also a witness? My understanding was that he had been cleared already to participate in it by the So you had Senator. consulted with them and they cleared it? No, I think they cleared it when he, when he took over the investigation. Did That's you consult? That's my understanding. I, 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 you I don't, don't know whether he's been cleared of well, a conflict be, of interest? He would be participating if there was a conflict of interest. So you're saying that it did not need to be reviewed by the career ethics officials in your office I believe, to I believe it was, it was appropriate? Well, I believe it was reviewed, and I and what would also point finding? out this seems to be a bit of a flip-flop because when the president's supporters Sir, the were challenging Rosenstein... flip-flop, I Rosenstein, think, in this case is that you're not answering the question directly. What? Did the ethics officials in your office, in the Department of Justice, review the appropriateness of Rod Rosenstein being a part of making a charging decision on an investigation which he is also a witness in? Yeah, my, so as I said, my understanding was he had been cleared, and he had been cleared before I arrived. By in making a decision on the Mueller report? Yes. And, and the findings of whether or not the case would be charged on obstruction of justice? He had he, been cleared he on was that? A, he, was, he was the acting attorney general on the Mueller investigation. Had he been cleared he had been, to make, I, I am, it, by your side, a I am decision? Informed, I am informed that before I arrived, he had been cleared by the ethics officials. Of what? Of serving as acting attorney general on the Mueller case. How about making a charging decision on obstruction of justice, that is the what underlying the offenses, which include him as a witness? You know, he, 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 that's what the acting attorney general's job is. To be a witness and to make the decision about being a prosecutor? Well, no, but to make charging decisions. I have nothing else. My time is right out. Thank you. Uh, Senator 